Hot work on three. One, two, three. Hot work. Good year. I hate the way things ended, especially everything that's happened with Christian. But, uh, I think that team exceeded the expectations of a lot of people. Uh, they just played a lot of character and a lot of heart to do some of the things that they did. They beat some good teams and became really close. I've had a lot of those seniors tell me it was the closest team they ever played on. Uh, so I'm really proud of them. I, I feel really good about my whole senior class. It's the biggest senior class we've had maybe since I've been in Star Mountain, definitely since I've been head coach. Very strong senior class as far as how tight they are, how hard they work. Maybe not as a group the most talented senior class we've had, but they remind me a lot of the 98 team you know, as far as they play hard for each other, care about each other. They're going to sacrifice for one another. For him and Trey, they're both very intelligent kids. I'm not sure, but I would just about guarantee Sam was in the top 10, 12 in his class. Uh, Trey's up there with him. Um, Samuel's one of the best young men I've ever been around. Just a great young man. Very talented and he plays uh, guitar. Just kind of low-key, easy going. Doesn't get rattled very easily. And has worked extremely hard to come from where he was athletically as an 8th grader to where he is now as a senior. Well, you know, we had a, a senior dominated team last year. But a lot of these guys got a lot of a lot of work. Brian King at fullback. This will be his third year on the varsity and, and feel really good about Brian. And Hunter Myers is also at fullback. Both of those kids are not real big kids, but they're very strong, very quick. Um, we've got Will Simpson up from the JVs at running back with Chaston, who um, had a great year as a JV player as a sophomore, uh, had over a thousand yard tradition. And then um, at wing, we have Sergio uh, Serenano, which is probably. He might be the strongest kid pound for pound we've had around here in a while. He's really strong, runs 4'6". Um, he's going to surprise some people. And we've got another kid that moved up from JV's and Darren Skeens that's going to be playing that wing as well. It's Luke Wagner we feel really good about. We think Luke has a chance to maybe play Division three, maybe Division two. if he has a great year of football. He's 6'4", 6'5", 240, runs well, got long arms. We feel real good about him. We've got Zach Worley back at guard. He ended up playing a ton of guard when we moved to Dillon Bray to middle linebacker last year. Zach ended up playing a lot because Dillon was doing a lot more running at middle right. linebacker than defensive end. So he ended up getting a lot of quality reps. Um, we feel real good about those two. And at tight end, we've got some good depth at tight end. We feel real good about the kids we have there. We're moving one of those to guard that we think okay. is going to be able to get on the field more and help us more at guard. Um, we just think we're reloading it at, at the offensive line. Yeah. Zach Worley and Michael Woods were the two defensive ends, and both were all-conference last year, and they're both coming back. Michael has worked extremely hard. He's up over 200 pounds now um, from a kid that wrestled in the maybe 171, something like that. I mean, he's really busted his tail, put on muscle weight. feel real good about them. We've got a good quality group at linebacker. There's not a ton of difference in all of them but we feel good about all of them. Uh, Nathan Williams is back. Brian King plays linebacker. Uh, Kyle Matthews was a sophomore that was up at the varsity last year. Who we feel real good about Kyle and getting that year under his belt. It really gives him a, a lot of confidence. Tall, angular kid, runs well. And um, then in the secondary, we have Will Lambert coming back at corner, who um, had a great year last year. I felt really good about what he was able to do. And then James Watson's coming back at safety. Um, James is going to be one of the fastest kids in our league. Um, runs really, really well. He's very strong. So we feel pretty good back there, too. Special team is something we've always put a lot of emphasis on, spent a lot of time on. We have a camp in the spring. We bring Carol White in. I think she's been coming 20, 21 years now. So we, we spend a lot of time working on that. We always feel like that's one of our strengths. Um, we've got a kicker coming back that doesn't have any experience, but we feel real good about what he does. He's done a great job working hard to get ready. Um, and then punters, James is back and does a good job. And then our long snappers, we feel real good about Jordan Money and Garrett Stokes, both long snap. In the weight room, uh, it starts there. Uh, I think a kid that goes in the weight room and sets a goal, whatever lift that you're talking about, and then busts his tail and reaches that goal, has a lot of confidence. 
He also watches the other guys around him working that hard, and they see what each other's putting into it. They encourage each other in the weight room. They push each other in the weight room, and that just carries over to the field. I think that's the first place it starts. We have a great tradition. We have great community support. We have a, a long history of, you know, now we've got sons that are playing, things of that nature, uh, which makes a big difference. Our feeder system is really good. I can't say enough about what a great job our middle school program and the uh, K-6 program is doing. Um, that makes a big difference. Um, football still matters here. Um, there's some of the bigger schools and, and cities and things. You go to watch a 4A game and they have less people there than we do. But here it's still important. It's still Friday night. Lights come on. People show up.